everyone! Welcome to Linda's Minis YouTube channel. This is the first video specifically for this channel. I'm really excited to uh, have some of the things I'm talking about to you about today. Um, you, so you can see my Etsy shop, my Facebook, and my blog website on my business card there. And um, it is pretty exciting um, that I'm getting pretty close to uh, some milestones on both my Facebook followers and my Linda's Minis um, Blogspot followers. That I'm going to have two giveaways in the future. That's right, two giveaways. One for Facebook when I reach 100 followers, and one for Linda's Minis when I reach 200 followers. So if you don't subscribe or like either one of those yet, please go there and like it and subscribe to it. Um, because then you'll be eligible for a, a cool giveaway. For one of the giveaways, uh, very likely the Blogspot giveaway, I'm going to be putting together a 112 scale chest full of toys for a child's room. And this is a lot of fun because this has made me go out and check out all the cool little tiny things in the area at Target, at the craft store that I could pick up that could be part of this. So I'm going to find some stuff that's already, you know, is already out there, already made, but I'm also going to make some stuff too for the toy chest. It's a lot of fun. Um, so if you have a child's room in your dollhouse, or you're working on a room box or a toy shop or something, or be great for Christmas, this would be perfect for, for any of those scenes. So what I want to do today is kind of show you some of the things I have found. Um, that way, you know, if you are looking for any of these items, you can go out, you know, where to get them. And if you find something else, if you have something else to add, another idea, please feel free to comment below. I'd be happy to hear it. Also, if any of the things I've showed you make you really excited and happy, and you go out and buy them because you watch this video, um, I'd love to hear about it. I mean, obviously I have no you know, financial interest in someone buying any of these items. <laughs> I'm just showing them to you because I thought they were really cool. But if you do go out and find something neat because of this blog. I'd love to hear about it. It's always fun to, to hear how, you know, you know, telling somebody about something, how that affects them, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to try to keep this relatively short, and so I'm just going to quickly show you each of these things I found. So, behind, behind everything, I'm going to show you. This is a 112 scale um, adult female doll and the reason she's standing back there is to kind of give you an idea how big these items are. So, you know, you can kind of see for yourself about how big they are. The first thing I have here is a little bear. This guy is part, I guess, of a series of these Only Hearts pets. And you can find them at Joann's. That's where I bought this one. And I think he was between three and four dollars. And they're really cute. They have little Velcro on their paws, which you can't really see because it's kind of dark. But um, you know, he's a rather big for a teddy bear, but he'd make a great like oversized stuffed bear the kid might have in a corner of their their bedroom. Um, I think everybody had like a big stuffed bear when they were a kid. And um, they're perfect. They're very squishy. They're very soft. You know, the touch and he's a lot of fun. He's, and they have dogs and cats and all kinds of critters. Um, there as part of the series. So each, um, and I don't know where mine is, but each one comes with their own little uh, information label and it shows all the different creatures you can get. So it's definitely an adorable little um, addition to any dollhouse room, I think. So the next thing that I'm going to show you are these little guys. These are called squinkies. It's S Q U I N. K I E S S Q U I N K I E S yes, um, and apparent I I guess this is like a big deal right now. This is might be some fad that you know kids are into and collecting. I have no idea. I don't have any kids of my own, and I'm much older than obviously kid age. But uh, I just wanted to show you you know some of the things I found. You can get these in the toy section of your department store, like Target. I know has them. Um, also, a great place to go to get toys like this are um, the trading card section of your, your local department store. Um, in our Target, I know the trading card section is right near the cashiers, um, so, you know, right when you walk into the store, so it's really easy to get to. 
and you have to go searching all over the place for it. So um, these guys come in a little blister pack and some of them come in what I call a blind bag. It's a bag you can't tell what you're getting. You just know you're getting one type of that particular toy. And they all come in these little balls. Look at these little balls. They're cute. They they look like um, the ones that uh, come out of a gumball machine. And here's the name again. And I think this would make, if you repainted it, maybe like a yellow color, this would make an awesome hamster ball for your dollhouse. So, um, they each have their own, so you can have it, you know, end up with a ton of them if you buy these. And they're a little hard, rubbery kind of things, and I, I don't know what you do with them. I think I've seen sets where they come with a ring, and you can attach them to the ring, I guess. But they, they sell these at Michael's, too. I saw them the other day. So that's another option. They are neat little figurines. Um, you could probably cut a little hole or a slit in the top of the, the figurine or paint one on even um, and make it into a bank. That would make a really cute bank. Um, so you, know, you can think of all the different options for a 112 scale scene. Alright, the next thing I'm going to show you is this. This is a little um, not a My Little Pony that almost looks very similar, doesn't it? It's part of a series of little figurines called Philly Princess, and again, you can find this um, in the trading card section. They come in these blind bags. You don't know what you're getting. And as you can see, this came with the, the pony. There are a ton of these. This isn't going to show them all, um, all the ones that exist out there. So it's definitely one of those items where you can definitely collect and collect and collect to your heart's content. So if you're really a collector of heart, they're kind of cute and they're fun. Um, they are flocked, so they're soft to touch, except for the crown and the eye. And, you know, they come in all different colors and, and hairstyles and whatnot. And I think they, they might even come with their own like castle and stuff like My Little Ponies too. I don't know if these are considered fakies or not, My Little Pony fakies, but they I mean, do remind me a lot of them. Um, the only thing about this is it's a little big obviously to be a My Little Pony figure for your 112 scale scene as you can tell by how big it is compared to the doll behind it. But it would be great as, you know, like a little um, in the corner of a, of a little girl's room or something. This is like a big toy horse or something. Yeah, I think that would probably be the best way to describe it. So these are a possibility if you like, um, you know, my little pony style stuff. And if, you know, it's something that might be interesting to you, to definitely go to your trading card section in your local department store and you'll probably have these. Alright, last but not least, of course, are the Awaka Racers. Awaka Racers, I've seen on many YouTube videos, um, as, you know, very popular with, with, uh, kawaii, um, item collectors, people like cute Japanese things, and these are also pretty popular with, um, miniaturists, too, because a lot of the items they make actually are almost the right scale. This is a, you can kind of see how big the soccer ball is. I mean, if it's not the right scale, if it's not exactly right, then it is, um, it's close enough where it kind of fools the eye a little bit. So you could see you know, how this works. I bought this at Michael's for a dollar, and they came in all different colors. Um, I can't remember if they had other erasers there. I think they did, but that was the one to me that was, that was just about the right scale. Some are a little bit too big. They'd be good for, like, maybe Barbie scale or whatnot. Alright, that's all I have today for the toys. Um, again, if you saw anything you really liked and you go out and get it and because of this video, I would love to hear about it. Um, especially you know, if you find something really else really cool in your search. Um, you know, I, you, none of my dolls have children. <laughs> or, or like none of my dollhouse, dollhouses or shops or whatnot I have or really have a child's room in it. So this is gonna it's a little bit new to me and it's kinda of fun to, you know, expand the imagination with and, and challenge myself to come up with something. And that's kinda of why I why I want to do the giveaway. Plus it's you know it's August but Christmas will be here before we know it and it'll be a lot of fun to to come up with a holiday scene maybe where you need a bunch of toys and um this giveaway would be a good opportunity to, to try to win those. So do, again, check out my blog, check out my Facebook page, you know, if you're not already a follower, do follow it. I think you'll, uh, hopefully you'll, you'll be happy. <laughs> 
Alright, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will see you around. Bye!